Well, happening right now, a Pasadena man who repeatedly physically attacked his wife and finally murdered her and her unborn child is on his way to prison to serve two life sentences. Alex Guajardo stood up in court and told the family of his murdered wife, Caitlin Guajardo, <laughs> that he takes full responsibility for what he did and will not live a day without regretting it. Investigator Bill Spencer is live at the Harris County Criminal Justice Center tonight with how this case has sparked great debate over bond reform. Bill? Keith and Daniela, Caitlin Guajardo was just 20 years old, a budding artist and devoted mother, when her abusive husband, Alex, attacked her one night, stabbing her 20 times in the stomach to make sure that he killed both her and her unborn child. And yes, over the last five years, this case has created a firestorm in the debate over bond reform. <gasps> yes, come here, come see Mama. For five long, painful years, Melanie Infinger has wondered how in the world she will ever tell her granddaughter Alexis how her mother was brutally murdered by her own father. I have uh, replayed this day over in my head for the past five years and two months. But finally, today in open court, Alex Guajardo pled guilty to two counts of murder for savagely murdering his pregnant wife, Caitlin, and her unborn child by stabbing her 20 times in the stomach. The sickening part, Melanie says, is that her death could have easily been prevented because no less than one day before Caitlin was murdered, she did exactly what domestic violence victims are supposed to do. She called the police and had her husband arrested for assault after he came home one night and brutally beat her up and then tortured and killed her cat. But despite the fact that Alex Guajardo was already out on a no-cash bond for drunk driving, a judge granted him yet another no-cash personal recognizance bond and released him back to the streets only a matter of hours later. Caitlin was murdered. She was a hero. She had him arrested and she stood up to him and she was, it was over. And um, the justice system let him out and with a signature and he brutally killed her. Over the years since the killing, this case has become a flashpoint in the battle over bail reform and has been used by lawmakers to try and change the law. Harris County District Attorney Kim Hogg was in court today and says it's high time we all take a very close look at this tragedy and crack down harder on offenders like Alex Guajardo. This case, more than any other case pending in the courthouse, highlights the dangers and the red flags of domestic violence. They were all there for this system to see. A tortured dead animal, prior beatings, uh, a severe beating, and then released on personal recognizance or free bonds. It doesn't make sense. Yes, and altogether, Alex Guajardo has been sentenced to two life sentences, plus an additional 10 years for carrying a deadly weapon while in jail. He will be eligible for parole in 30 years. At the Harris County Criminal Justice Center, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News.